Okay guys, welcome to another Main Meister look at. Now, I've uh, mentioned before, I think it was on this week's Waffle, um, I was waiting on a parcel, or actually to be exact, two parcels. Now, said parcels have now arrived. Now, I'm not really a, a pick-up fan uh, of stuff. I'm really not one of these people that likes to sort of say, I've got this thing, box thing complete, da 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 But uh, I'm going to make an exception because uh, I'm just really excited about getting this thing and hopefully it won't uh, it won't disappoint so anyway without much further ado I am going to open the first of the second parcels or the first of two parcels I should say now I'll tell you what it's got my name and address in it so not that I think that you guys are going to do anything with this it's probably just as well as people take off the paper so yeah here we go can we see this in shot? I don't know if you can is that all in shot? Tell you what, I'm going to uh, move this up a wee bit. Like so, how's that? That's better. That's much better. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to come round this side. What can it be? Well, <laughs> you already know what it is because you've read the title of the video, presumably. Unless you're one of these people that just randomly clicks on stuff and has no idea what it is. So for the recyclable thing. Yep, here we go, right. Let's take a knife. I couldn't find scissors, so this is the next best thing. Now, obviously there's two boxes, so it's just going to come out in the order which it comes out, if that makes any sense. But yeah, this uh, Coleco Vision, which as I said, you already know what it is. What the hell, that is a that is a packet and a half, is it not? Right, game manuals plus Rocky game for use with controllers. My goodness, that is what you call uh, a good packing. Fantastic. What does it say? I think it said Rocky game. Game manuals plus Rocky game. Oh, I think he's put the wrong title down. Uh, Turbo. By Sega. <sighs> Fusty smell. Excellent. Wonder why there's no boxes. Ah, right. You've even got wee overlay things. Right. So I've never, I've never even, I've never so much as uh, played a uh, what do you call it? I've never played a uh, Coleco Vision. So there's a uh, Carnival Adventure. Donkey Kong. Do you not think that was part of the appeal of getting video games? Um, back in the day, it was buying a game and then taking the instructions home and looking at the pictures and reading all about it. Slither. I'm guessing it's some oh, there we go, it's some sort of snake inspired video game. Space Panic. See, I love this kind of. I really, really. I'm a, I'm a sad old man when it comes to things like this. This is all part of it. Coleco Vision, the arcade quality video game system. Ages eight to adult, 1983. I wonder if it's got the warranty sticker, the warranty card. No, it doesn't. At least I know I've got this. I'll need to get this filled in and returned. So if there's any problems, burger time. Love that game. Now, interestingly, this uh, Rocky game it uses for use with a CBS ColecoVision Super Action controllers only, which is this bad boy thing here. So yeah, that's instructions plus turbo. Right, fling that over there. Next. Holy moly, this weighs a bloody ton. Now, you know what, if any children are watching this and you get a Coleco Vision pack like this, get an adult for God's sake to open it because uh, doing it one handed for a video camera is not clever. It's neither big nor clever. Now, I'm, again, I'm, I'm assuming that with the weight of this thing, it is... Uh, 
Uh, I should really get a pair of scissors, you know, but I couldn't find it. There's one pair of scissors in our house, and they're always getting one missing. It's a bloody nightmare. <laughs> uh, Hulk rage. Uh, there we go. Right, one CBS Electronics, which means it is the original one. Though interestingly, I think it's had a repair job because obviously that's grey and that's the rest of that's black. So it's that kind of uh, it's not a, a standard power pack. Okay, right. What the hell? You know what? I really have no idea what I'm opening up here, other than it's an accessory for for uh, the Coleco. should really go away and find the scissors, shouldn't I? Because, uh, I'm trying to open it. Listen, back in a tick. Ta-da! Typically, they were in the drawer that I already checked, but honestly, I'm sure somebody must have gone in and put them in the drawer in the, in the last ten minutes. Just need to be careful, don't cut wires. Um, my brother-in-law what did he buy? He bought one of these, uh, was it Buzz? It's a quiz game for the PlayStation 2 and it came with, uh, it's like four controllers it's for like a quiz game and uh, it came in one of these plasticky, horrible plastic packets that he basically used a Stanley knife to open and uh, he opened it using a Stanley knife and uh, he duly cut right through the wires when he was opening it so when he got it opened he'd already knackered it so yeah what could it be? I should really keep this bubble wrap um, but it's getting shredded the way I'm opening this thing well there again I can maybe use that right what is this? what is this? Right, CBS ColecoVision Expansion Module 1. Now, hang on. Hang on, says the vicar. Right, is that... Oh no, that is for that. So what on earth's Expansion Module for? Wait a wee second. Wait a second. Hey. Where are they, where are they, where are they? Oh, I'll just give me one second. Right, no. I was thinking that that would be... I know you can get an Atari. No, is it? Is it? Possibly? No. That doesn't fit in there. What's the... No, that's... That's a... ColecoVision. That's an Atari, so no, that doesn't... It doesn't... It's not for that, obviously. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, hang on. I think that's what that is. There we go. So that means that I can play my Atari. Ah, look. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's for I was going to say Atari takes Atari joysticks. Or maybe it does, yeah. Right, so I'm guessing that this is actually the add-on to let me play Atari 2600 games on the ColecoVision. And you can see here, You've got the Atari 9-pin. Excellent! Didn't know I was getting that. Absolutely fantastic. Right, that's that. What's next in the Pandora's box of goodies, Gov? Oops, I better not get rid of this. What the hell is this? Right, uh, okay, this is the... Uh, <laughs> this has seen better days. <laughs> TV game. Right, that's the, obviously the connector, so it's obviously your standard RF thing. I don't know if there's any other thing you can buy for it. Right, what the bloody hell is this? Oh, wait a minute, I think I know what this is. <laughs> right, I'm not even going to attempt to try and save the, the paper. Let's just cut it right open. 
idea is you're supposed to cut all in rather than tear. But you know what it's like being a kid at Christmas. That's part of the fun, just ripping it all open. Snap, snap, snap. Snippity snap. Yeah, never ever. Does that take batteries? No, I doubt it. Never owned a Coleco. No, sorry, I've never even played a Coleco Vision. I just remember. But that's not entirely true. I did play it. Um, they used to have one in Woolworths or Rulco as it was called, which was like the big department store version. Right. Ta da! <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Excellent. So it's even got... <laughs> it's even got the uh, accelerator. Brilliant. Love it. <laughs> right, excellent. <laughs> yeah, this is called Expansion Module 2. Um, now this is for this game. Turbo. So I will definitely be doing a a mashup of that. So yeah, presumably this thing uh, Right, that must go Just go in there, does these cables Wait a minute, right, it needs to go around Does that go in there? There we go, it just kind of sits like that Excellent Bit small than I thought it was going to be, but uh, very nice. What's that there? Ah, that's where the the uh, accelerator cable plugs in. Right, smashing. Right, moving on. Now that only leaves one last big boy, which I am guessing is said console itself. So let's just get in right about it and get it opened up. Yeah, I could really save some of the bubble wrap, but you know what, what the hell. We don't want to scratch it. Yeah, it's one thing opening these things, but it's another thing trying to open it and you try to hold it in view of a camera. I'm not exactly cutting it very well, am I? Right, what I'm going to do is see if I can attempt to save some of this. There we go. Ugh, it's quite heavy, actually. Right, ah, he's put, okay. Certainly well packed anyway, that's one thing. I'll need to send a wee thank you email to the guy. Right, here's this bad boy. Ah, disappointingly. The badge is quite uh, scratched, well it's not scratched, it's almost blank, that's a pity. I wonder if you can actually buy, buy another one of these panel things. There's no doubt something on uh, eBay that you can do that. Now these, uh, ah right, they actually, you can see here, they do unplug. So what have we got? Yep, Coleco Vision video game system, expansion module interface, so I'm trying to hold this with one hand, it ain't easy, so that goes down like that. On this side, you don't have anything. On the back, it's not a computer, so all you've got here is the power thing, and obviously you've got your RF lead at the side. And at the side there, there's nothing. Let's have a look. Uh, underneath, CBS Coleco Vision warranty registration card serial number. Yep, I'll need to record that serial number in case I have to return it. Right, so yeah, these kind of just nestle like that. Do they click into place? Oh, very good, there we go. Right, what I'm going to do is put this down and take a look at one of the controllers. I've seen this, never used it. So you've got 
Right, okay. So that's your sort of joystick, quite springy. I don't think I'm turning it, I don't think it's meant to turn. You've got your fire buttons, I'm guessing left and well, two fire buttons. Then you've got your pad. I know when you start a ColecoVision game, it comes up as it 1 to 10 or something and you just key in the number. So yeah, looking forward to giving that a shot. So yep, yeah, let's uh, batter on, we'll put this one in here. It goes in like so. Right, one number click version. Yeah, I'll need to see if I can find. I mean, I don't know what the chances of uh, finding one of these are. I've got your reset button, I'm guessing. But uh, yeah, it looks very. I was going to say 1970s. It looks very early 1980s. It's like a video re uh, video recorder. Okay, right. Let's get all this bubble wrap stuff moved. Hey, right, you get off here, son. So that can go there, we'll get this box out of the road as well, so we'll put him over here, you can sit over there, like that. Right, one more box, which I'm guessing, well oh, that'll be the game, it's a daisy. Right, I'll just take off my outer paper with my name and address in it, unless of course you want to send me some donations of money. Sponsor the channel, which are always welcome. Just kidding. I always think it's quite interesting when you open up packaging from people to see what kind of boxes that you get sent, and it always gives you a kind of flavour for the type of person. This is all Barcelona. Well, this came from England, so uh, actually came from Nottingham. At the end, the guys probably got it. Right. Ta da! Right, I think we'll use the knife. Um, this is basically open this. Copper or bone? Ah! Is it that kind of box, isn't it? Oops, it is it. Right, I'll go around this side of the tripod. I'm glad to see that everything doesn't, it's not as big as I thought it was going to be. Never ever do what I'm doing, never cut towards yourself. That is just asking for a whole whoop ass of trouble. So yeah, I'm not even going to do it because... Right, looking at this, it looks like there's going to be paper galore that's going to topple out this. Right, you know what, I'm making a complete balls of this. I'm not quite sure how, right, here we go, that's the top, I think. Let's go in from this side. Cut, cut, cut. And let's get this knife in about it. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine, right. Let's try and minimise all the paper stuff. Don't cut towards yourself, you twat. Right, I'm not quite sure how this box is actually put together. I mean, it's kind of... Mm. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cut. Cut along here. And just tear it. Right, let's try and... I normally keep packaging, but uh, in this instance, I don't think I'm going to bother, whoa. <laughs> right, okay, how do we start this? Um, right, who's touched the scissors? Where are they? Oh, yeah, I don't know why somebody moved them. I mean, this is rather that's what I'm going to do. Let's let's try and mm, let's try and find the end of the cell tape. Well, we can see a rather re large red knob. Matron, right? Cut, cut, cut. Do 
be very careful, don't want to do it with my bar mod did and chop wires because it's not like you can just go into WH Smith and uh, pick up one of these things off the shelf. Oh no! Right, if I cut that a bit there, that will hopefully open it up. Right, here we go. <laughs> Bloody hell, that is what you call a controller. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Superb Coleco Vision, Adam. It's even got a wee spinner. I wonder what that's for. Tato. That actually feels pretty good. Now, that would be excellent if that worked. I mean, it is the standard 9 pin thing. I wonder if that would work on something else. That that feels like, that's like a, that's what a controller's all about. It's obviously got the stick at the top, it's got the wee rubber bit like your dad's gear lever. It's got your nine buttons. It's got this thing. That doesn't really feel like it's doing anything other than just spinning. And you've got, you've got your four buttons. It's like an add-on for uh, Guitar Hero. But that looks in very good condition. So yeah, one of these. I mean, apparently these go for a fair bit of money. Um, well, I don't mind telling you, I got this. I got this. The whole lot of this stuff for a hundred pounds plus postage. Um, showing it to a mate last night. He thinks there's probably this. All this stuff here is worth probably over two hundred quid. So yeah, I've. Uh, it's a lot of money I spent, but you know what? I think. Uh, I think I've. Got some, I think it's worth more than I've actually spent. Right. I'll tell you, this guy will be getting a major thank you. Um, he's really... He's going the extra leg or the extra distance when it comes to packaging stuff up. Superb. Right, what have we here? Games. Burger time. Love burger time. Does it see when that came out? Nine, no, it doesn't actually. From Data East. There's Rock Ape. So the soup in there, that's the one that requires that, uh, that fancy box. Not box, fancy controller. Rocky. Yep, I always remember seeing that and seeing VG thinking that looks awesome. Carnival, almost a conversion of the, the Sega arcade game. It's going to see it's an arcade classic, but I'm not quite sure it's an arcade classic. Mousetrap, not, don't recall that one. Slither, it's almost a snake inspired shenanigans. Venture, now, is that not. No, wait a minute, it's Adventure, which was on the Atari 2600. So I'm not sure of what this is. I don't even know who made this originally. No. I think a lot of the ColecoVision games were based on arcade. It was arcade ports. Space Panic, again. Yeah, is that the one where you've, you've got the wee uh, platform and you've got to basically dig a hole for the baddies to fall in? I think that might be, or is that just Panic? And the classic. This, this game is probably responsible for getting me into video games. Seen Donkey Kong running... Uh, in Woolworths or Woolco as it was called um, that was what really got my attention on video with video games so can't wait to play that again I mean I've got you know the Coleco Vision although it was powerful for its day it's not a particularly difficult uh, it's not a particularly difficult game to, uh, system to emulate I mean I've got it emulating multiple systems but uh, you know, for any hardware fiend, you know that uh, it's the plain and real hardware which is the, the good bit. Right, now, I'm just trying to think, right, okay, that's all that. What else is there? I mean, there's something else in here. And I 
having a bloody clue what it is. Is there something I'm missing? Oh yeah. Now yeah, this is this is exciting. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I actually saw a picture of this. And I, I mean, I don't know what game this is going to use. But uh, yeah, apparently again, this this add-on on its own goes for a fair bit of money. You know, these the Coleco is quite a rare system to have. I mean, it was it was better than the Atari 2600, but it was more expensive. And the Atari 2600 ended up winning the battle just because it had so many games. And it had the backing of obviously Atari, who were the basically the biggest uh, video games company at that time, I would say. But uh, I I can't even mind what I was talking about. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so the Coleco commercially, I mean, I don't know whether it was. I don't think it was deemed as a failure as such, but it certainly disappeared. It's a bit like the Vectrex; it never really survived that long. So there's not a lot of ColecoVisions out there in the wild and so when they do appear they do tend to fetch a fair bit of money right, come on, let's get this bad boy open come on I have bollocks, let's just get the scissors on about it and get all this cut <laughs> roller controller Fantastic. Rollerball heaven. Yeah, now I'm not sure what goes on here. We've got... Oh, right, okay. So you can plug controller 2, controller 1. So your controller's plug in there. Roller joystick. Superb. ColecoVision. So yeah, I mean, cosmetically, it looks in pretty good nick. Love that. That would be excellent if that worked on uh, a PC. Might have to give that a try later on. Superb, that is one rollerball or roller controller, as they call it. Right, that goes here now. I think that is everything. But let's just double check because we don't want to be too hasty. And you know what? I'm actually tempted. I'm actually tempted to keep this box because when you're selling your own stuff, oops, it's good packaging. And if I ever get myself a hamster, then I could, uh, yeah, I could use that. Right, anyway guys, listen, that is that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a tidy up of the room and then I'm going to fire it up and hopefully see this bad boy in action. Back in a second. Or actually, it's probably going to be about 15 minutes, but it'll literally be instantaneous. Okay, this is uh, the bad boy set up. Now, I've got to say, it actually tuned really easily using the RF thing. So, uh, let's just get it in position. Yeah, I mean, usually RF pictures are a bit rubbish on the modern TVs. But I've got to say, this is it. It's actually a really clear picture, and uh, the sound is top notch as well. So yeah, that's uh, what game is this? Wrong controller. Oh! This is a uh, carnival. I've got to say the controllers aren't too bad. I know it gets. It comes in for a lot of slagging. Um, the controller for the Coleco Vision. Right, how do we start? Oops, what have I done here? Right, are we starting again? Obviously based on the, the arcade game of the same name. <laughs> okay. Alright, so if one of these things ducks get past, it kind of eats some of your bullets. You've only got you've only got so many bullets. Come here, you. 
you've only got so many bullets uh, to use, as you can see at the bottom. Controllers are a wee bit sticky. Oh, so if I get that thing there, I'm guessing I'll get 10 more bullets, yeah. Oops. Yeah, it gives a really, really nice picture. I would say it's just as good as any scarp would give. Now, I'm not going to look at every single game, obviously, guys. There's just too many. Whoops. Right, that is a... Uh, that's Carnival, let's look at something else. Okay, this is the game which I mentioned earlier. This was the game that kick-started my whole love affair with video games. Saw this in Wool uh, Woolworths, never got to actually play the game. Oh, it's that one, okay. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit stiff to play, you've got to try and use two hands to use the controller. But this is an excellent version. Well, it's slightly different. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's slightly different layout. Oops. But, hey, I'm absolutely delighted with this. I'm wondering if I can maybe open this up and try and uh, free it off slightly. But for its time, the ColecoVision was, uh, it was just, it was ahead of its time, it really was. Whoa! Ah, bollocks! Yeah, controllers are a wee bit, wee bit sticky. Hopefully that might, uh, might change when I use it a bit more. I mean, up. Yeah, you've got to force it a wee bit to get it to come down. Maybe the other controller might play a wee bit better. But it still works, you know, you need to... When you buy hardware that's uh, 30 years old, you've got to expect that you're going to get, it's not going to play as well as it would do if it was brand new. I've got to see, this is every bit as good as uh, I was hoping it was going to be. Ah, arse. Can I use that fire button? No, it's got to be the left hand one. Which is slightly annoying. Let's see if you can do the... Ha! <laughs> you can indeed, you can... You can do the bouncing off the... Uh, whoops! Come to daddy. 
no. It's actually easier if you can use your thumb. Yeah, they're not the they're not the best controllers in the world, that has to be said, but you know what, that's what that's what made it. Oops. Ah, now this one doesn't have the little thing that falls down, which makes it a wee bit easier. But anyway, let's take a look at another game, guys. That is a uh, Donkey Kong. That's excellent. Okay, this is a uh, Rocky. <laughs> right, I noticed it was the picture was going a wee bit squiff. Now I'm using this this bad boy controller. Uh, this is going to be interesting. Picture this game seems to be not quite so clear, not quite sure what's going on there. Anyway, right, I'm uh, controlling obviously. Right, how do I? <laughs> right. So interestingly, it uses all four. Uh, all four buttons. It's uh, it's not the easiest control in the world to actually use. Right, so that's put my guard up. That's I'm not quite sure what that's doing. That's throwing a punch. That's throwing a high punch. <laughs> Come on, get up. It's not. A I don't think you can, uh, that's, I'm not quite sure. That's a guard and punch, that seems to be the only things you can, can you punch the load or something? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more round. I don't know whether maybe these buttons aren't working. Um, do these buttons do anything? No, they don't. The number buttons. Yeah, you just got the. That seems to work okay. That one doesn't seem to do very much. But what I'll need to probably do is actually read the instructions, which I've actually got. And he's down. Come on, Rocky. Looks like he's out for the count. Some nice big graphics. It's all over. Yeah, that's uh, that's Rocky using the fancy controller. Okay, this is a uh, this is the Clico Vision with the Atari adapter put in. So yeah, it's not just a uh, Clico Vision games you can play. You can also play Atari 2600 games, which is pretty cool. And it uses the standard Atari joystick. Oops, I yep. This is actually not a bad version of pole position. Well apart for the <laughs> apart from the opponent cars look a bit rubbish, but but uh, yeah that's a nice little extra. Now unfortunately guys, um the steering wheel doesn't appear to be working. Um it does take batteries which I've put in it but I can get the car to accelerate but I just can't get it, uh, the steering wheel to respond and I've done a quick google and it apparently it seems to be quite a common uh, common issue so I don't know whether it's uh, I'm doing something wrong which I don't think so because it's a question of just plugging it in or whether uh, it's something that can be fixed so that's a bit of a disappointment but uh, you know what I'm still uh, I'm still delighted with what I've actually got here I really am So yeah, anyway listen, that is the Atari adapter. So I think that's it guys, um, yep, I've, I need to go and clear up all my stuff. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this little overview of the Cloaker Vision. I'm absolutely delighted with it, I really am. 
Um, so I shall be doing uh, some mashups of some more of the games. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my main master channel. Please feel free to like, comment or subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook and 